It's that time once again, guys, for another episode of my Borussia Mönchengladbach career on FIFA 15. Thank you all for joining me as I continue on with my third season with Mönchengladbach. We are getting into the thick of the new Bundesliga season. As it stood, heading into our next game against Wolfsburg, we found ourselves in fifth. We have been dropping off lately with results, picking up a draw and a loss here and there. And we had to try and get ourselves back on track in this away fixture against Wolfsburg. And it certainly was going to prove a bit of a tricky task. As Wolfsburg wanted and needed this result, those three points, probably more than Munch and Gladbach. Obviously, I wanted the win, but they I, I knew they were going to turn up in this game, you know, being at home as well. And let's not forget last season and the season before, Wolfsburg were up in the top three, challenging for the Bundesliga title. Whereas this season, they haven't really hit the ground running. It's been a bit of a slow start for Wolfsburg, and you do kind of expect better from them. The trip to Wolfsburg saw us without Junozovic again, still out with that broken toe and probably going to be out for a couple more weeks as well. Um, shouldn't be too far away from returning, but we, apart from that, we were at full strength for this fixture. And we did open up the scoring with that beauty from Ibrahima Traore. He's got such a deadly right foot, cutting on, or I should say cutting in on the inside. And just hit with the finesse shot, almost putting that Van Persie shot. Yes, I'm still going on about that goal I scored on FIFA 13 in the Champions League final. But it's almost putting that goal to shame. I mean, the keeper, to, what's to blame there, I think? He's way off his line, should be covering that corner. But we managed to just take advantage of that. Traore hitting it first time. There were no other options available for him. So I just thought at the time, you know what, let, let's see what we can come up with. I was feeling rather ambitious in this game against Wolfsburg where maybe I shouldn't have been. As it was such a, a big game to actually come away with three points. I mean, the last couple of times I've come up against Wolfsburg, we've, we've found it tricky even losing a couple of games against them over the, uh, the period of those two previous seasons so we got off to a fly then against Wolfsburg with that goal from Traore definitely going to be watching that again it's just nice how the ball floated over the top of the keeper and the net was rippling in the second half Jetro Willems went on a fantastic run right through the middle fed the ball through to Max Cruz and he just couldn't wrap his foot around that shot to maybe get a bit of swerve on it to beat the keeper but it just went out for a goal kick but we kept pressing we kept on at Wolfsburg looking to extend our lead and Patrick Amann I mean, with that opportunity there, he should have he should have made it 2-0. There's no excuse. I mean, he had time. He had space. Probably could have took a touch and then took aim. But, I, I don't know. I, I just rushed into that one looking for a, a nice finesse shot. And it did hinder us because in the 83rd minute, Wolfsburg got an equaliser with just seven minutes to go. It was De Bruyne that took the corner, beautifully delivered at that near post. And it was a nice header by Arnold, who had only just come off the bench to replace first. So, a super sub decision by the manager. And he came close again to getting the lead. And that, I think, would have been the final nail in the coffin for Mönchengladbach. That would have just been it. I would have thrown the controller across the room if that had been the case, if they made it 2-1 with minutes to go. But we come away with just a point. As you'll know, if you guys have been following this career mode over the last three seasons, Borussia Mönchengladbach have been unable to beat Bayern Munich. We got another opportunity, another shot at accomplishing that midweek in the opening fixture to the Deutsche Pokal this season for Mönchengladbach. We were playing at home, so we had that slight advantage. I had my team fully fit for this game. We had Thiago back in the sides. He started against Bayern Munich earlier in the season against his former side, so he was there again. We came up short the last time we faced Bayern, which was in the Bundesliga. We lost 1-0 in a game where I thought we played very well. We put Neuer under incredible amount of pressure, and I was looking to do that again. They were sitting deep in this game. And they did have their new sign-in, Luis Suarez, starting for this game. So we had to be careful of their counter-attack 
absolutely deadly up front on FIFA. Under 10 minutes gone of the game, we had a pretty confident start against uh, Bayern Munich. I was very happy with it. Traore on a high after scoring that beauty against Wolfsburg on the weekend. Almost made it 1-0 in this Dutch Pokal fixture. Hitting that ball low and hard. Had Neuer beat. Just couldn't get it on the right side of the post. Lucky for that bottom corner. Thiago whipped in a beautiful ball. It was whipped in superbly. There was a nice bit of swerve in there. It was perfect for Traore. He just couldn't keep the ball down though on the header. Max Cruz had decided to go this alone. He did have Traore as an option. Again, fired it straight at Neuer. It wasn't Rainer in goal this time. Pep Guardiola decided to start Neuer. So I can actually say it was Neuer in goal. I thought, you know, thinking about it, we were very unlucky with the draw because this was our first game in this season's Deutsche Pokal. I mean, last season and my first season, we, we did okay. I mean, we got to the, uh, the semi-finals in my first season. Last season, I think we were drawn against Bayern Munich again. That was another game that I lost against them. And I thought it was going to go 1-0 here as Suarez stepped up for the free kick just outside the penalty area. I mean, it was destined really to go in the back of the net. And I was thinking to myself, this is going to go in. But it, no, it just went over. I was happy with that. The game still stood at 0-0. Robben in the second half just ripped us apart like always on FIFA couldn't get a hold of him I mean look at that you can see he's dribbling back and forth and it would be Bayern Munich going 1-0 up tell me something new Rhoda I just can't I just can't do it captain I don't have the power that, that's how it feels in this game I can't keep them contained we can't keep a hold of them can't keep up with them they always seem to destroy me somehow whenever I come up against Bayern Munich and Guardiola knows that. That's why he always puts them out there. They're like his mercenaries. But we did come back with a reply. Four minutes later, it would be Thorgan Hazard with the equaliser. It was game on. And I could feel, I could feel Bayern Munich on the ropes at this point. We absolutely hit them in the midsection. They were winded. And it was all thanks to Hazard, you know, bringing him on in the second half certainly gave us a boost in confidence. Those fresh legs on the pitch and he's a pretty pacey player. And speaking of substitutions, Guardiola decided to take off Suarez who failed to make any impact on the game apart from that free kick opportunity he had. And he replaced him with Lewandowski. Now just seven minutes to go, we received a throw in. Anything can happen from a throw. Patrick Amman was to take. You can see Traore coming over from the left, trying to make up the numbers down this right side, trying to get make some options for uh, Patrick Amman. And Traore whipped in a beautiful cross. Cruiser just puts his head wide. He was put under pressure by Rafinha. He's breathing down his neck almost. And he didn't really have time to maybe chest that down and hit it on his foot. So our final chance of the 90 minutes went back and it went wide. We could have done so much better, but it was on to extra time and potentially the dreaded penalty stage, which I wanted to avoid as much as possible. So I was going like the clappers in extra time to get in the lead against Bayern Munich. Um, we were sent a gift from heaven. The referee came charging in and awarded us a penalty for that challenge by Ben Arsha on Traore. He was just showing off with his incredible dribbling skills and he was just brought to the ground there. And it would be Max Cruiser to step up and take this penalty. Max Cruiser has been given three, four penalties already this season and he's missed all of them. Could he make it 2-1 here against Bayern Munich in extra time? And I was just at the green zone. But I still had Manuel Neuer beaten. Mönchengladbach for the first time in this career mode was in the lead against Bayern Munich. We were in the lead in extra time as well. Obviously I was expecting a bit of a blowback here. I was expecting Bayern Munich to come alive and maybe turn this game around and make it 3-2 you can see Lewandowski on the ball giving that one to Ribéry they were pushing forwards and Ribéry whipped in a quality deliver ball and Schweinsteiger hit the post crawl rooted to the spot it would have gone in if he just aligned himself perfectly it certainly would have been 2-2 and it would have been game on again but look at this passing between Dahoud the youngster with her man great linkage of play and we were we were looking for a third to get this game finished. Patrick Amman 
displaying some quality dribbling skills, a bit like Traore earlier on. Just couldn't win the penalty. Oh well, there was no penalty given. I was uh, I was hoping the ref was going to come in and say penalty. We could have made it 3-1 and that would have been game over. But you can see the quality of our passing here. Just overconfidence from Mönchengladbach. Nice little dink over the top there from Traore to Hazard. And a fan cruiser. How that wasn't 3-1, I don't know. Neuer, he's just superhuman, isn't he? Now, with Bayern pressing, with moments to go of the game, it was just a matter of holding on, defending this lead that we had. And Max Cruiser, look at this bit of run from him, changes direction, and about 25 yards out, smacks the ball, hits it low and hard, and makes it 3 1 to Munch and Gladbach. We would go on. You can see the celebrations, you can see how much it means to Max Cruiser and the rest of the squad to get one over on Bayern Munich. I know it's in the Dutch Pokal. It's not the Bundesliga, but it's a win over Bayern Munich for the first time in this career mode. I can't believe it. And what a fantastic finish. And looking back on the game, I did think Neuer was poor. He was obviously having a bad day at the office because normally a, a shot like that from Cruiser probably would have been saved by Neuer. Probably would have done a little bit better in that goal that Hazard scored. Not so much the penalty because that's you know, it's 50-50, isn't it? But there we have it. It's in black and white. Mönchengladbach 3, Bayern Munich 1. Mönchengladbach will now head through to the next round of the Dutcher Pokal. And just to wrap up this episode, here is the final match facts. Amazing stuff. We were fantastic on the day. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.